Did you know that you can now turn on memory with Claude so it can access your past chats and never forget anything? Or maybe you didn't know that you can now connect Claude for free to more than 500 plus apps that you can then control straight from inside of Claude. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 hidden Claude features and settings that you need to make sure that you're using to get the most out of Claude. Now, feature number one is you can now turn on memory with Claude. So what you're gonna wanna do is come over here, you're gonna wanna click on settings, and then you want to come over here into features. You wanna scroll down and you'll see this right here, search and reference chats. This basically allows Claude to search for relevant details in past chats, and then you can go ahead and actually enable this right here. Now, what you're gonna be able to do is come over to Claude and say, what was the last thing we spoke about? And then what this will do is go ahead, reference past chats and tell you the last thing that you guys were talking about. Or maybe you forgot a detail about a plan that Claude actually created. What you could do is you could go through, ask it what the details were, and it will go through and actually tell you that. So we can see right here that from my latest conversation on August 30th, we were discussing commercial window cleaning prospects in Southampton. Do you want to continue with this? And I can have it actually pull that list or do whatever I wanted with that. But that's just the first feature. Feature number two is going to be artifacts right here. Essentially what this allows you to do is build out your own mini AI powered app with inside of Claude. But in order to actually use this, you have to come over to your settings, again, come into features and turn on artifacts right here, and then also turn on AI powered artifacts. So as we can see with AI powered artifacts, you can create apps, prototypes, and interactive documents that use Claude inside of the actual artifact that's Itself. In order to get started with this, you literally just say to Claude, let's build an AI app that can do XYZ, and then this is what this actually looks like. We come over here and see a bunch of different things that were created here. For example, if we want to come into writing editor right here, this actually walked through and built out an app. We could see the prompt that was used in order to do this. We could customize this if we want to, and this will actually go through and improve the clarity and readability of writing by getting feedback on errors and other areas that can be improved. And again, you could build this out for anything that you want. And if you go through here, you're going to see tons and tons of different examples. Now, before we get into the rest of the use cases, I wanted to remind you that getting rich in 2025 is way simpler than most people think because you don't need a fancy degree from Harvard anymore and you definitely shouldn't be going into college and saddling yourself up with a lot of debt. Instead, you should be leveraging AI and begin to make money in just a few weeks. Whether it's getting a higher paying job or launching something of your own because AI makes it incredibly easy to do that. Because AI isn't just helpful anymore, it's required. In fact, nearly every job that you're gonna try to get today is going to demand of you to have the top AI skills. And I've got good news for you if you feel like you're lacking in this. Because this weekend, you could join a two-day AI mastermind workshop by Outskill, the world's first AI-focused education platform, by just attending 16 hours with expert mentors, learners from Outskill, who have built and shipped over 100 different AI products, all with zero code and working revenue models of three to $4,000 a month. Now, this training typically costs over $895, but I've partnered with Outskill to bring you this video and give away a thousand free seats for this training exclusively for my audience. And that's nearly $900,000 worth of training completely for free. By the way, it's rated 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot and it's highly credible. Now, what actually makes this different? Firstly, it's just a 16 hour short commitment, which is best suited for somebody with a busy professional schedule. You also get free lifetime access to Outskill's exclusive paid AI community to grow alongside more than 5,000 different AI first professionals. And also their AI learning dashboard is super seamless to navigate, which enhances your overall learning experience. And over 10 million people have already attended this training in the past year across different industries. And now it's your turn. And here's what you're gonna learn during the two-day live stream. You're gonna learn more than 10 powerful AI tools. You're gonna to learn about prompt engineering and you're gonna learn how to automate workflows and build AI products without code. In addition to that, if you sign up now, you're gonna get exclusive bonuses worth over $5,100. The first one is gonna be a prompt Bible with more than 3,000 high impact prompts on day one, a roadmap to monetize AI on day two, and then third, a personalized AI toolkit builder only if you attend both days. So please make sure you clear your weekend because this is happening this Saturday and Sunday. It's gonna be going on from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. both days, and I'm actually requiring that my entire team join it. So what are you waiting for? If you wanna attend it, again, for free, go to the pinned comment below and register right now. Spots are filling up fast, and also, please make sure you get into their WhatsApp community to stay up to date on all the different 
different trainings. Hidden setting and feature number three is going to be Claude's new Chrome extension. As we could see right here, I actually have access to this, so I can say, summarize this article, and then what this is going to do is take over my screen right here, and this is going to go through, and this is going to summarize everything happening on the page. Basically what this could do is take over your browser and complete actions for you. It can summarize things, you could get it to answer comments, you can get it to answer a bunch of different things. Now, I do want to be clear about a few things here. One, there's only about a thousand people in the world that have access to this right now. I'm one of those early testers, and if you want, I can make a full video about this, my experience with it, and whether or not I think that it's any good. In addition to that, I did want to mention here that this is still a beta product, so you need to understand that there are risks that come along with this, and it doesn't work perfectly, but what I've actually used this for is really cool, and I'm really excited to tell you guys about. But essentially, this allows you to now bring in this Chrome extension anywhere that you are. You could see that you could come over here and you can approve certain sites or you could disapprove certain sites. You could also pull this up right here and get this to clear the chat or you could get it to skip all permissions. But essentially, this allows you to begin to automate tasks that are happening on your browser or just have Claude with you everywhere that you go all over the internet. Now feature number five is gonna be turning on extensions for Claude. So again, if you come over here, come into your settings, we come over into connectors right here and scroll down, we are going to see browse connectors right here. And what we're going to see is desktop extensions. And this is pretty crazy because you can get Claude to control your Chrome. You can get it to read and write in Apple Notes. You could get it to read and send iMessages or automatically fill out PDFs, or you could connect to Airtable's MCP server. There are tons of different things that you can actually get this to do here. And this is pretty incredible. I like to use this personally for things like read and send iMessage, for read and write Apple Notes, for control my Mac, and for PDF filler. Because essentially what this allows to happen is I, from Claude, don't have to open up every other app that I have open on my computer because I could just do everything from Claude and that's kind of what I want because instead of me having to pull up iMessage and go and do something or pull up my notes and go and do something, I don't have to do that anymore because this can actually do that. In addition to that, if you look at something like Control Your Mac, you could get this to execute Apple Script to automate tasks on Mac OS. Now this brings me into the next thing that you could do, which is come under web right here. And then you can connect all these different connectors to Claude. You could set it up to Stripe, you could set it up to PayPal, HubSpot, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Gmail, and there are so many different things that you're gonna be able to do from inside of Claude once you have this set up. So if I pull up my Claude right here, what you're gonna be able to notice is that now I can actually come over here and do a bunch of other different things. So we're gonna get this to load up right here, and we could click in right here, and now we could see it has access to my drive, where it has access to Canva or to NVIDIA or to Rube right here, or even to read and send iMessages. For example, I'm gonna say, what's the last text message that I got? And then what this will do, this will actually go through, look at my text messages and tell me who the last person that texted me was and exactly what they said. Now I could go through and have this check all my messages, check everything, but essentially this allows you to have one interface called that you then interact with all your different apps from. In addition to that, if you come into connectors right here and you don't see everything that you want to see, what you can now do is come over to this website right here, rube.app, and this gives you more than 500 different tools that you can also connect to Claude, and it's incredibly easy. You literally just come over here, YouTube, click on enable right here, you then click in order to authorize this, and then you'll be able to actually come over into your instance and see all the different apps that you have here. For example, you could see that I already have Gmail, Google Sheets, and Slack. Then you just click on this right here, come over to Claude Desktop, set this up very easily with the MCP, and then you'll be able to come back into Claude over here, and you will be able to come over here, click on Rube, and you will be able to see all the different things that this can get done. For example, I had this go through my email over here and then put everything into a Google Sheet. 
So what were my last five emails? After you find them, create a Google Sheet, put them in there with headers that make sense. And as we can see, this literally went through and did that right here. And I want you to think about the power of this because you could get this to find leads for your business or just connect a bunch of different apps. So instead of me going through Gmail and then going to Google Sheets and then going to HubSpot and then going to my calendar, I can have Claude automate all that work for me. Now these last three hidden features and settings are really going to blow your mind. The next thing that I want to show you is if you come over here, you can click into this right here and click on use style. What this does is changes how Claude actually replies to you. And if we click on create and edit styles right here, you could see all the different presets that they have. And essentially you can go through and you can change the style in which Claude actually responds or you can create your own. So if we click on create custom style right here, we could actually post in messages, content, pre-existing document, and then Claude will come up and create a style for how it should write or how it should respond to you, or basically how it should interact with you. And this is going to increase the customization you get from Claude. Let's say that I wanted to create some website copy. I wanted to do it like a certain website or a certain competitor. I could then copy all their text, put it in here, and this will then get trained on their style, on their tone, or that format. You could do the same exact thing for YouTube videos, or for blog posts, or for newsletters. The opportunities here are really endless. And the next thing that you could do is begin to use these presets right here. For example, if you click on From Drive, this will go through, access your Google Drive, and then do a bunch of different things based off of it. Or the same thing with code right here or if you wanted to learn things, or if you wanted to write things. And then the final thing that I wanted to show you that I actually didn't even know about is if you come into settings right here, you're now gonna have the ability to come into billing and guess what? You right here can add in link by Stripe and then you could see how much credit you have available. And what this is going to allow you to do is purchase things from Claude. Basically, you fill this up and it will act like a credit card so you don't have to share your credit card information with Claude and it can go off and it can buy things on your behalf, it can order things on your behalf and do a bunch of things like that. If you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a brand new AI app store that allows you to access more than 500 plus apps for free. You can check it out right here.